I'm Christy Juckmas with our True Touch Marketing Group here at Cypress Semiconductor. I'm excited to talk to you today about our True Touch controllers and how they provide the world's only built-in hover functionality. Hover is on the cutting edge of touchscreen technology. It tracks your finger while it hovers above the screen, allowing you to navigate and make selections in an entirely new way. True Touch technology provides you with both hover capabilities and direct multi-touch input on the same device, so you can still interact with your system as normal while providing an advanced user experience. Hover allows you to create a mouse over capability with touch, as well as create new user interface experiences with gaming and 3D displays. Imagine the possibilities with this kind of technology. The Cypress Hover technology can accurately sense your finger position up to 10 millimeters away from the screen and track its presence out to nearly an inch. This is a hover demonstration kit. Watch as I hover my finger above the panel. The keypad will light up in yellow as I move my fingers over the keys. TrueTouch can also tell the difference between a hover and a touch. If I press a key, it lights up in red. It is noteworthy that we do not enable hover by cranking up sensitivity and lowering threshold. That type of demo will not hold up in a real application in the presence of noise. Instead, Cypress is the only company that can provide both self and mutual capacitive sensing on the same chip, and we can switch dynamically between the two in application. This unique and patent-pending technology allows us to use differential signal analysis to provide solutions to challenges like true hover, as well as waterproofing and one millimeter stylus support. This makes TrueTouch the world's most advanced touchscreen controller. If you'd like to know more about Cypress's other touchscreen solutions, feel free to watch the other videos on this page, look through our website, or email us at truetouch@cypress.com. Thanks for watching.